Hello. Uh, my perspective on HIV, um, I was kind of shallow in the beginning because I didn't know everything that was um, pertaining to HIV, how you get it, how it's transferred from one person to the next. Um, I'm a provider of kids and adults, and so I have to deal with my clients like they have AIDS. For instance, I can deal with a baby that's one and two months or one and two years old, but they won't tell you who has the AIDS. You have to deal with it with your gloves. You have to use safety precautions to deal with the AIDS. Uh, over the last, what, 20 years, it's been strong, and I've learned to understand it more. I learned to understand that um, hugging, touching, embracing a person, um, even a kiss on the cheek, you know, it's not going to say, ew, <laughs> that you can catch this, but I know there's a lot of precautions out there for us to um, be more aware, you know, protective sex, uh, needles germs when you, you pass this then it's body fluids a lot of that you have to pay attention to but some people don't pay attention to that so this is why the spread of AIDS is so high now in the black community and other communities as well but they have a lot of information that you can prevent from getting AIDS and HIV and things like that um, if you're willing to learn it but first, if you catch the virus, the AIDS virus, or you get the full-blown AIDS, you have to accept what you did. You have to realize that we can all prevent things from happening. But the lifestyles of people today, um, it can be prevented, and to some, don't care. So, I believe with all the media coverage that they have for AIDS, uh, we can continue to grow as a community and to do outreach programs like this where you can give your input and the feedback on how we feel in our community. Thank you.